think of a drone vending machine and it's constantly as you request spitting out that drone and then when it's done with this mission it returns and fits nicely into its container think about putting a sentient swarm on the back of something the soldier can take out to the battlefield and cause immediate disruptions pretty instantly with a high level of autonomy The biggest capability gap right now is scaling up drone usage. The thing that we're really trying to push for is persistence. A typical drone flight time might be 25 or 35 minutes. What persistence allows you to do is have a vehicle automatically get launched, go out, replace the drone on mission. All of the video feeds and the controls get handed off to the new vehicle. And then the drone that's a low battery life can come back to the hive system, land, recharge, the Hive is designed for easy access by the warfighter. He can pull the drones off the tray and inspect connectors and feet and props and do a visual inspection of the drone. What you're looking at is essentially an aircraft carrier for small UAS. Our largest system is the size of a 20-foot shipping container. It holds up to 80 drones. It holds larger platforms. The system you see here is the Hive Expedition. It's one of our smallest platforms. It holds 12 drones. One thing we're looking forward to is adding a bunch of different drones with different capabilities that unlock new mission sets beyond just ISR. You can use Swarm for sensor to shooter with multi-fleet packages where you're sending up ISR assets and then you're also launching precision strike assets. We're providing a base level technology that allows us to unlock new capabilities in the future.